We don't always think about the kiddos when we talk First Amendment. College students, older folks, sure. But the under 18 crowd tends to come up less often, and that shouldn't be the case. The First Amendment is for everyone, no matter how old you are. And these superstar kids are perfect examples of why using our five freedoms is so important. Nishayla Hearn. 11-year-old Nishayla got in trouble for wearing her hijab to school in 2003. The school said it violated the dress code policy that prohibited hats, but there was no exception for religious garb. The Justice Department stepped in to protect Nishayla and other students' rights to practice their faith at school. Christopher Eckhart. In the 60s, Christopher protested at his high school against the Vietnam War alongside Mary Beth and John Tinker. He ended up a co-plaintiff in the landmark Tinker v. Des Moines case that established student-free speech rights. The Spectrum Staff. In 1983, three student journalists on the Spectrum Staff at a Missouri high school planned two big features for their end-of-year newspaper on divorce and teen pregnancy, but their principal pulled the stories from the paper. The journalists believed their First Amendment rights to free speech and press were violated and filed a lawsuit. Unfortunately, the Supreme Court disagreed, but they still took a shot and fought for access to the First Amendment. March for Our Lives Organizers. After losing 14 classmates and three faculty members on Valentine's Day 2018, the students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High organized the March for Our Lives to protest gun violence. More than one million people across the nation assembled, making it one of the largest protests in U.S. history, and they planned it in just six weeks. To this day, many of those students are using their First Amendment freedoms to speak out against gun violence. Mari Kopenny. At eight years old, Mari used her First Amendment right to petition and sent a letter to President Barack Obama to help fix the water in her hometown of Flint, Michigan. Her letter helped persuade Obama to sign legislation in 2016 that gave $100 million to repair Flint's broken water system that endangered more than 25,000 kids, most of whom were Black. Take that, environmental racism. Have you exercised your First Amendment rights as a kid? Share your stories in the comments.